nutrient recommendations do change when a woman becomes pregnant or when she's lactating. Your book has a couple of figures that point out what these changes are. Right now I'm just showing you the micronutrients. We could also look at the macronutrients in your book to see those differences. When we look at the micronutrients, there are a lot of changes within pregnancy. So the recommendations for pregnancy go up in, in, many, of the, in many of the nutrients, as you can see in the red. And also the same goes for lactation. Now what I would say is that there are some, some new micronutrients that we are especially concerned about because of how they're involved in fetal development and because of the concern of, of some women not getting enough depending on where they're living in the world. So in the United States, our biggest concerns are going to be folate and iron because women tend to not get enough of these. So when we look at folate, you can see that the amount that is quite substantially higher during pregnancy, and you might remember when we talked about folate, that folate is important for preventing neural tube defects or spina bifida, and the, this, how essential it is for the woman to get that in those first 28 days after conception to, to make sure that the neural tube closes properly within their growing uh, baby. When we think about Later pregnancy, folate is important just to maintain pregnancy and to have a healthy pregnancy overall. Within iron, you can see substantially higher in uh, pregnancy. When we look at lactation or breastfeeding, it actually is not as high. Some students will wonder what's going on here. Well, we know that there is, when women bre breastfeed, there is lactation amenorrhea, meaning that a woman's not going to be um, ovulating. And, and having menstruation. And so in that case, we'll be losing as much iron and, and retaining more iron. The, outside of the United States, there are two minerals that become especially important and can be sometimes seen low in diets, therefore um, can seem health consequences in pregnancy uh, especially, but also become important in lactation. So zinc and iodine, are especially important nutrients for a pregnancy as well as you can see in lactation. And some countries, they're not getting enough of these. In the United States, we tend to be okay in getting these two particular nutrients. So it may not be as big of an issue in the United States. But what I would say is that this is one of the reasons why we recommend a prenatal supplement, especially during pregnancy, in order to ensure that women get enough of those nutrients. And during lactation, you might wonder, well, does a woman need to get take a supplement as well? I think it really depends on how what she's getting in her diet. And if she's not getting enough of, of these nutrients, then sure, it doesn't it wouldn't hurt to have uh, a, a take a supplement that is going to give her a few more of those vitamins and minerals.